All right, hello everybody. We should be up and running, ready to go for some Sonic Speedy Run action. Welcome to Fast Pace for Pride, benefiting the It's Get Better project, presented by the Fast Pace Events team. We have got HUDs running the ever amazing Sonic 3D in 2D. Take it away, my friend. That's me! Hello everyone! Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, my name is HUD61, I'm going to be running Sonic 3D in 2D for you. Before we get things underway, first off, let me introduce my commentator for this run, the lovely Ben in Sweden. Hello! Hello. Ben is also a runner of this game, or former runner of this former game. Runner. So, <laughs> former runner. So hopefully you should get some good insight to this one. Before we get things underway, I, I need to kind of embrace the Sonicness of this run, and um, I bought myself a... Uh, a nice little box here of, of the official Sonic Blue Blur Cologne, not sponsored by the way. Um, and I figured why not get this open on stream right now. We're going to spray this on ourselves and see if we can absorb some of that nice, nice blue blur speed. So just quickly get this one out of the box. I've genuinely not tried this or smelt this, but I'm intrigued to see what it's like. So it's here we go. Horribly wrong. Just like, <laughs> it probably, it probably like, is. I like the sound of this, but at the same time, it's like, oh God. Here we go. Oh, spray. Oh, lovely. Right in the face, whoops. Oh, come oh, on, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. The test is on the wrist. <laughs> That's not bad, you know. I can I can feel the speed rushing through me right now. <laughs> oh, yes, powering up. Let's do this. Right. Well, well, well you're powering up quickly. We've got $20 from Chef Mayhem. That simply says, it gets better. And yes, yes, it does. And we also have another $20 donation from Prometheus. That says, have a fun weekend, speedy folks out there, less than three. Uh, Huds, oh. what does it really smell like? Um, it smells like prom night when I was 16. Oh. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm, definitely getting no. the cit I'm definitely getting the citrus notes. I'm not so sure about the subtle, luxurious base notes of softest leather, suede, and cedar. But I definitely smell like a grapefruit and a Caribbean lime. But um, yeah, it smells a bit like prom night, so awesome. Right, Huds, with that said, you are, go on. Are you an anime fan? <laughs> <laughs> no <way. laughs> I'll tell you what, not a bad purchase that, it's actually not too bad, so... Oh, <laughs> right, with, no comment. With that being said, we have the brew at the ready. Hey. All Sonic speedrunners need a brew. Right, let's get this thing underway. Sonic 3D and 2D. 3, 2, 1, go. Yes. Ben, do you want to begin by letting the people know, what is this game? What am I playing here? So this is a fan game created by the wonderful Sotanuk. Um, basically, he took uh, the Sonic 3D Blast game and reimagined it in a 2D format. And you could say in some places he was a bit brutal about it with his difficulty. But as, as we'll see, HUD's hopefully making short work of that as we go through here. So already um, at the boss for Green Grove 1. Yeah, that was a level already. That was a level. So you can see we started off with the Emeralds. If I got 50 rings, I could have transformed into Super Sonic, but we don't collect 50 rings along here. Here is Silver Sonic. And I'm going to try and set up here a little bit of a quick kill on this one by bouncing him on this middle part. Lovely. I'm going to stay here and grab the Emerald because the moment I grab the Emerald off him, which he stole, I can immediately move towards the checkpoint a little bit faster doing it that way. And that's Act 1 done dusted. And that's the other thing that you'll notice. If, you're, if you've if got a keen eye, you'll notice he's throwing in some references to other games. Like that was from Sonic 2 8-bit. Um, the final boss. Well, the normal final boss. Not if you don't get all the Chaos Emeralds. The 8-bit silver, essentially. And there'll be more to come later on. So working our way through, I'm going to grab this spring, we're going to come up the top, bounce off that wall, up and over this enemy, and down the bottom here. So some of these levels, like the earlier ones here, are relatively straightforward. They're kind of a little bit go right, the level. The uh, intensity of these levels ramp up considerably, though, as we go on, and the bosses do as well. Here's the second boss. This one, I'm going to try and damage boost. So one, two, three. Oh, missed that. Four, five. Um, why I am damage boosting, Ben, do you want to just explain one of the differences with the, uh, inv inv of the invulnerability frames, the iframes? Yes, uh, Sotanuk in his, um, quest to make life difficult for Classic Sonic 
uh, players, he reduced the amount of frames that you get for invincibility when, when taking damage. So uh, there's a real chance you can die in this game, um, as long as the rings don't bounce around. Because the rings bounce off all the walls and stuff as well in this. Uh, sometimes you'll find that if you want to die, you'll be collecting loads of rings in the process and not, be, not being able to lose them. Surprisingly hard to die when you want. So, <laughs> this is Rusty Ruin Act 1. This one is a maze. For players that play this game for the first time, uh, they will more often than not, as I did, time over in this level. Um, it is a literal labyrinth if you don't know where you're going. But thankfully we do. Have a little look out as well for the little knuckle statues along the route. They're there to try and guide you towards your end goal. Um, but sometimes they don't always point in the fastest direction. This is an example of... I think at least Rusty Ruin 2, the actual end of the level is essentially up and left at the start. Yep. <laughs> so it's not not even it's not even a play hold right to win Sonic game. <laughs> okay, and so go on. I was gonna say, chat, is this Fang or Knack? <laughs> Fang! <laughs> it's Fang! <laughs> He's actually disappeared on my screen. It's great because the, the 30 <laughs> FPS made him disappear. Yes, it's like, yo, where'd he go? It's like, he's not there. But yeah, there no, this go. is... I, I was genuinely surprised when we had the conversation this morning, Hud, and you were like, yeah, some people didn't know at all that he was Knack. It's like, oh. wait, what? It's like, yeah, no, yep. he's Knack over here, but he was he is <laughs> actually Fang. Like, I think it was Fang is the... the uh, sorry, Knack is the Western name, whereas Fang is the original name. And now everybody just kind of adopted Fang because Fang sounds better. It does. In my opinion, it does. It suits him more. All right, Rusty Ruin 2. So, in this zone, I'm going to attempt to keep holding my fire shield all the way to the end. This game has a very unique mechanic in that you can keep shields between zones, which can really help in a couple of zones' time. So, while I'm going through here, Ben, do you want to kind of add anything to that at all? Yes, uh... Basically, when we were rooting this game, um, I can't remember who first noticed that you carried the shields through um, actual zones, because uh, obviously we, we kind of assumed you'd carry them through acts within a zone. Um, and then I think it was actually Control who <laughs> was basically like, oh, I wonder oh, if, you can it. If, if you carry the fire shield from like this zone, into uh, essentially Spring Stadium 2, where there's the Knuckles route that oh, what you can take with the Fire Shield, um, whether it would be faster. And it is, <laughs> but obviously Huds won't be taking that now because he's lost the Fire Shield. There, there was a backup one that he could get, but it's yeah. a bit more of a diversion and there's no guarantee that he'll be able to keep it all the way through Rusty Ruin 2 um, into... <laughs> into Spring Stadium 1 and then into Spring Stadium 2 so it it's getting the one on the way is worthwhile trying but obviously going off out of the way for where you might just lose it anyway it's not worthwhile exactly it's not the end of the world losing that one it does save some time but as Ben said you got to keep it through the rest of Rusty Ruin 2 then Spring Stadium 1 for it to be useful in Spring Stadium 2 and even then the time save is not worth getting the backup really um, so that's okay. That one's not 100% vital. There is one coming up that is very vital to the run, uh, which we'll talk about when we get there. In the meantime, as we go through Spring Stadium 1, Argate, oh, do you have any messages for us? We do indeed. We got a $10 donation from Alistair that says, Yo, Huds, how much to buy the cologne? <laughs> uh, I mean, you can get it. You can get it right now. Again, not sponsored. You can get it on Sega Shop right now. Um, I can I can promise you that mine, given the fact it's been touched by my amazing speedrunner hands, is going to cost you more than it would from, from Sega Shop. <laughs> but I'll sign it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very well, there's, much. There's an endorsement. Okay, yeah. I cannot tell you just how much my face smells of prom night right now. It's just all oh, up in the face and the sinuses. Stop calling it prom night! <laughs> what do you want me to call it? I don't know! <laughs> I'm just what I'm do the kids call it these the days. Number nine's thing, anime fan of prom night. <laughs> right, we are here in the Spring Stadium 1 boss. This is the Tails doll, Ben. 
Yeah, another reference to, I believe, Sonic R is where Tails Doll made first appearance. I'm not that so. up on post 3D Blast Sonic games. So someone will correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, two phases to this boss. Obviously, Huds has already done the first phase, um, which is really very simple. The second phase is a bit more difficult uh, with his homing attacks and stuff. Huds makes short work of him, anyway. Yeah, we're doing a lot of RNG manipulation on that. Well, it's not really RNG manipulation, but it's pattern manipulation. Depending on where you're stood um, at any given time and which way you're facing will then depend on where the Tails doll, what attack the Tails doll does and where he finishes. So what we're trying to do is manipulate that for him to always finish on the right side, um, which we got four times in a row and then I just didn't quite get the jump time right at the end. So because I don't have the fire shield here in Spring Stadium 2, we're going to take the bottom path. Now, being Spring Stadium, there's, um, guess what, lots of springs everywhere. Some of them work, some of them don't. So that one we don't want, we need to jump over those ones, we're going to continue down the bottom here, that's a spring that works. Oops. And down here there's going to be another one, that one, and that one that we want to hit. So this one's a quite a tricky little level to transverse because of all these springs, and there's lots of enemies everywhere on this game. So to really pack this game out with enemies. Little jump here, into the speed shoes. And now we want to use these speed shoes as much as we can to try and speed through this part level. Little jump onto the balloon, onto the spring, onto another spring. Guess what? Uh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> On that spring, onto that spring, onto another spring, and into the invincibility. Now I need to try and keep. Go on. And this is where you would have hit. This is where you would have gotten to if you'd taken up this path, essentially, and saved 20 ish Give or seconds take. to get there. Depends how good you are at doing it, I suppose. So. I'm trying yeah. to hit a cycle. <laughs> Firstly, I want to get up here. 106 will do me just fine. Get onto that barrel, onto this one. Going to use this barrel to do a little bit of a skip up to here. And on my way towards the end, I'm going to grab another invincibility just down here. I'm just going to drop into a roll. Grab that one. This will help me for the boss. Say hello. What did we decide that this boss is called? Is it average arms? I keep calling it small, small arms. I mean, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> average arms small as well. Arms, yeah. <laughs> small arms, average arms. Either way, Double say this. hello. The problem is, small arms will crush you if you're not careful. Yes. Yeah, even it with the invincibility. <laughs> ah, nice. Good quick kill. I can't remember whether Sota fixed the... The ring? Well, it's the Sonic World Stealth thing. Yeah, if, if you essentially get hit, but in such a manner that you collect all the rings, you get this loud... <laughs> I can tell you it's not fixed because I got it this morning during practice. It's still oh, very okay. loud. There you go. It's not fixed. <laughs> <laughs> right. Guess what? It's a nice zone. Guess what? We're snowboarding. Argic, take it away. Well, everybody, we just want to let you know we are raising money for the It Gets Better project here. The It's Get Better project, uh, they have a mission to uplift, empower, and connect the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer, that's LGBTQ+, youth around the globe in three ways, through storytelling and media, through their global projects, and through education. All donations that are raised throughout the event here will be going straight to the It's Get Better project, so please do keep them coming in, and don't forget about our polls and our targets as well we are very very close to 2.5k can we hit 2.5k during this run we're at two thousand four hundred and eighty four dollars and forty eight cents oh we are close come on chat you can do it i believe in you let's get that 2.5k at the start of the sonic blog here so you can see that we've kind of carried along sota definitely has uh, a love of springs we've got quite a few spring sections in these levels um, but you can see here, lovely Sonic World physics there. Um, yeah, so we're in Diamond Dust uh, 1 here. We've had our snowboarding section. Say hello to the Gold Shield, obviously a carryover from 3D Blast. Uh, I want to try and keep this one all the way to the boss because it's going to help me with the boss and clearing that nice and fast. So it's got our homing attack. Go one, on. thing that, one thing that I think we've both forgotten about because <laughs> I think you haven't managed to do it yet is that the Fire Shield is useful in this stage it as is. well. If you manage to bring it all the way here, there's a few skips that you can do. Um, boss is a bit more difficult but without the homing shield because you skip, you do it, take a route that means that you don't go anywhere near it as well. Well, oh, as requested, hello gold shield. That's a holdover from Sonic 3D Blast. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, Diamond Dust 2. This is where I'm going to pick up a Lightning Shield, and it is vital I keep this Lightning Shield. Um, losing it, uh, if I were to, uh, will actually lose me over a minute in the next level. So if I were to lose it for any reason, I will probably take an intentional death uh, at the checkpoint that I'm about to get to shortly. Which is this one here, so... I'm going to come up here, I'm going to grab this Lightning Shield. So as I say, it's vital now I keep holding this one, so I'm going to concentrate and hand it over to you, Ben. Yes, uh, as Hud says, this is useful for the next act. Um, there is, I think, another checkpoint that you might end up hitting. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so now he can't, he can't reset to go back and get it. Um, well, you could go back and get it, but it's probably not worth the, the time to do it. Um, as we'll see in the next level, he'll take a completely different route to, the, um, to what is standard for Sonic. And it saves, as Hud says, like a minute or so, um, just because it <laughs> it's that that much faster the route. Um, oh, that spun me off of a direction I didn't want. There we go. Poor. <laughs> Scary. May I jump in, please? Yes, you may. So we got a number of donations that came up on here. Uh, starting with, Ooh. we got a donation. From uh, from Rujisu55, $5. It says, come on, 2.5k. We then got the one that put us over. We got a $50 donation from Cauliflower. Let's this go. This is Sonic Block. Let's go. Good luck to Huds, Roman, Kirby Master, and Mendez. Uh, thank you very much for that. And then just as we came in there, we had a $15.52 donation from the one and only Dr. Eggman. Oh. That says, <laughs> I've come to make an announcement! We've hit 2.5k! Well, Dr. Eggman, thank you for your donation. But unfortunately, you're a little bit late. One might <laughs> say, you're too slow! <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, everybody, for the donations there. And then a final one just came in here as well. Professor Nez with $20 that says, fine. Let's bring up that nice, mathematically pretty number and push it over 2,500. Thank you very much, every single one of you, for those donations there. That does put us up now to 2,575, and it gives us a nice number there. Fantastic. Thank you, everyone, and for your donations. That was amazing. <laughs> ben. It was amazing. Uh, as you can see, HUD's got through that level in the time it took to read through those <laughs> donations. That, that's how I'm much time it up. saves. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> no, no, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a literal um, uh, one minute time save by keeping the shield and being able to take that alternate route, which... Is it Knuckles' route or Tails' route? I always forget. Uh, I'd say it's probably both. both. Like, either of them can take it. I think there is uh, another route that is Tails only as well, but it's on... It's a slower route, essentially. So here we are with the boss, Metal Knuckles. I'm intentionally losing the shield now because I want the Insta Shield for this. I can do two hits in the air, one on the bottom, that's three. It's going to go under, going to damage boost here. I'm going to go up, one, two, same again, comes down. Get that, moving towards the right, two to go. So same again, rinse and repeat. Up we go, one, two, that's Metal Knuckles taken care of. Lovely. Coming up is the... I guess the only remaining couple of glitches in the game. Um, there used to be a glitch in this level which did save time, but because of the lightning shield route, it's that's even mm. quicker, <laughs> essentially. It really is. Right, so, Volcano Valley 2, I'm going to come down here, jump, jump, I'm going to grab myself this fire shield. I need this in order to do the glitch. I'm going to come up here, towards the left. Move this up here, move towards the left wall, and boom, up we go. That's half the level skipped. And now, we're going to skip the rest of it. I'm going to come up here. This one's a lot trickier. I've got to do this mid-air. So I'm just going to concentrate a sec. Technically, you don't need the fire shield, but it makes it a little bit easier to okay. do. Plus, the boss is essentially a brain AFK boss if you've got the fire shield is. as well. Because, because you cannot... <laughs> You cannot lose this boss when you've got the fire shield. Um, the only way that you can lose it is by timing over, and obviously, since we're speedrunning, we don't want to time over. Um, but yeah, the fire shots can't hit hit you, and you can't get hit in the lava, so... Yeah. So yeah, we've probably <laughs> got about another 50 seconds of this boss, so I'm going to say, Arg, feel free to read some messages. 
Oh, uh, thank you. We have a ten dollar donation from Big the Dave that says, "I oh. think I know what Hudson's favorite Nirvana song is. Smells like Team Sonic." Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like something else right now. I can promise you. Please don't say Tom Not again. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for the donation, Big the Dave. Thank you, Big the Dave. Right, one more hit to go, I believe, on this one. Yeah, as you can see, because we're surrounded by fire, but I have a fire shield. I literally cannot lose on that boss unless I were to time over. We're not going to do that. We're speedrunners. We go fast. That's the end of Volcano Valley. We have two levels to go. Four acts. Next up, Giga. So this has probably the second toughest boss in the game. Behind Panic Puppet 1. Um... And you'll see why when we get there. If you've not seen this game before, we'll keep it as a little bit of a surprise for you. But again, this is another one that's a little bit like a labyrinth. There's all these uh, different elevators everywhere. Um, so a lot of this is trying to figure out where on earth you are going. Thankfully, we know the fastest routes. So we're going to come along here into this one. Down the bottom. We're going to come out of here. And thankfully, this bit plays itself. Just got to make sure we stay in a roll so that we don't get hit by any of the enemies. Ben? I think we actually worked out with this one. There's about five different routes for this stage that you can take that are all very similarly timed. Um, obviously, you can lose time in other routes as well, but it's one that's got plenty of options. Um, the route the HUD is taking is probably one of the safer routes, <laughs> apart from this mouse. <laughs> yeah, that mouse likes to take my shield. The shield, by the way, is not vital for this level. I don't really need to keep it. But, you know, it does offer a little extra protection. There are some bits you can speed up because of it. So here is one of the options where we can go up or left. I'm holding left so that we go left on this one. And then here, we're actually going to jump over this one and come up here instead. All the way I can't around. remember which one it was that sends you all the way back to the beginning of the stage. There is <laughs> one. <but> yeah. <laughs> Again, holding left. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Why would I activate the bosses? Right, through the pipes. <laughs> if you play Sonic 2 SMS, I think it's Sonic 2 SMS, then it will. Uh, you'll know which way you're going for that one. Right, welcome to the boss here. I'm going to intentionally use my shield. I don't want it for I want the insta shield. Uh, you may recognise some of these bosses. These should be familiar. So at the moment, we're going against Sonic 2's uh, Mecha Sonic. I believe it's Mecha Sonic in Sonic 2. So is after I get my... Sonic? Is it Metal Mecha? Mecha? Oh, I've got the one I don't want. I hate this one. This is Silver Sonic Mark II, and he is a pain in the backside. Because he follows you, and you have to be on the opposite side of him for him to go down like that. And then he does things like that. But yeah, after you've hit the boss uh, for its sixth hit, just like that, guess what? Another one comes and joins you. And we got Silver Sonic Mark 1 joining us. So this one, we can do the same strat that we did uh, in Green Grove. It's a little bit harder to get here because it's a smaller arena. Which means he can move much quicker to the other side. There As it you is. Can see, there's CD Metal and S3K's Mecha Sonic as well. Yeah. There is a way that you can get, get it so <laughs> you can fight all of them. Um, obviously, that's not quick. Which is what <laughs> so Arg was trying to get me that. to do. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so there, there are there is generally a preference for us in terms of which ones we want. Um, I got two of the three that I wanted. I would have liked um, Sonic 3's Mecha as well instead of uh, Silver Sonic Mark 2 because he is just a pain. But uh, RNG has not really been in my favour today. It is pure RNG, by the way. We checked with Sota. There is no way to manipulate that. Um, so yeah, it's just luck of the draw on the run. Thankfully though, not too much bother this time. Here we are in Giga 2. I've got a lightning shield. I want to keep hold of this shield. You'll see why in just a second. As we come down here towards the right, I'm going to jump up here. There are these gates, and guess what? If you've got a lightning shield, they don't affect you. Brilliant. We can just skip straight through that. We don't have to press buttons and do puzzles. We can just go straight through. I'm going to actually come over this way. This is a relatively new route that uh, I believe you discovered, Ben, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, it was one that I, I proposed. It's a bit safer than the, the alternative as well. Um, there was a minor glitch that you could do with the other route where you could essentially um, skip over a door trigger. Uh, I think Sotra has patched that in the latest version, uh, which I guess makes this a little bit faster as well now. Yeah. But I'm just like again, that. Boss. The boss. Right, this boss oh, uh, has a habit of yeah. taking my shields. 
So this should be familiar to any, um, or at least feel familiar to any 3D Blast runners. We're on the treadmills. There's a big gap at the end, which is just waiting for me. Famous last words, Huds. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> don't mind that. Don't mind that. As long as we don't fall down the gap. So I've lost the shield. I'll pick up another one in, in the next level in Panic Puppet 1. But that's a great Giga 2. There is a bug with that boss, which I don't think has been completely fixed, where the boss can retract into those spikes and hide behind them <laughs> and basically soft lock the game because you can't hit him behind the spikes. I think so did try um, fixing it, but um, I think someone else managed to reproduce it afterwards. All right, down here. Don't need to worry about the button. We can just jump straight over that. Right, I'm going to stop here. Spin dash, come out of that with an insta shield and grab this lightning shield. I want this for, this is very slow, uh, I want this for the boss for this level because assuming I can keep it all the way to the boss, um, as you'll see shortly, it can potentially help speed things up. It is also pretty much needed for this level for the fastest possible route. So we're going to come up here into this lift. And then, again, I'm going to be taking uh, a slightly different route from normal using the invincibility and this lightning shield to speed through part of the level. It does mean I'm on a bit of a timer here, though, so grab this invincibility. We're going to peel out here. Little jump up here, up to the top. We're going up. One. Going up again. Two. And again. Three. And again. Four. And then over to the top here. Off of here, I'm going to spin dash. I'm going to jump down here and into this lift. That skipped a whole chunk of the level. Uh, which is fantastic. Invincibility's gone. Worst of it's over. I just got to make sure I keep hold of the shield just here. So I need to make sure I spin dash out of this lift when it's at the bottom of its cycle. Hold down. There's one enemy, two enemy. We jump on the third. There's the third. We jump into the lift. Should be a fairly straight shot now to the boss. So what I'm getting there. Oh, are any messages? A plenty of messages. Do you want to let you know? We're currently update on our donation incentives here. We are currently at $204.48 out of, I believe, $500 based on the magical little bar there. Actually, that's a lie. I forgot to refresh. We're at $315 Ooh. out of, it's definitely $500 looking at that, for the SSX showcase there. Uh, update on our Super Monkey Ball 2 character choice. Gon Gon and I I both have nothing right now, but Mimi has taken the lead with $30, Baby right behind with $20. And looking at the Sonic Advance 2 poll, it is looking pretty close here. Uh, Amy running away with it with $505, with Ann Knuckles at $241. Still got time to change it if you want to, but Huds, time for the hardest boss in the game, take it away. Thank you very much. Yes, this is the hardest boss in the game. This is the first part of the boss. We stay on one side of it. It brings its prongs out to send out some shots of electricity. It means that the other side of him is then vulnerable. I completely missed my hit then. And I missed it a second time. Brilliant. <laughs> That's okay. Missed the cycle. We'll go back the other side. So still need six more. There's one. There's two. Grabbing back onto Tails. Now this might look a little bit like a walk in the park. That's okay. It kind of is in some ways very hard to uh, necessarily get this boss completely wrong as long as you make sure to move to the other side there we go right now is time for the hard boss everyone remember this one guess what he's had an upgrade <laughs> I hate this boss all right I'm trying very hard here to keep hold of my lightning shield it's pretty much a necessity because he can shoot his drills out oh my word Right, come on, laser me. No. So it's pure RNG what he does. He can do that attack. He can come after me like that. And he also has a laser attack. I'm trying to coax him into doing the laser right now. Come on. Yes. No. <laughs> give me the laser. Stop shooting your drills and give me the laser. <laughs> Stop coming after me as well. Without the insta shield, him coming after me is really tricky. Oh, I lost the shield. Aww. If I get laser now, and now I'm he's going to do laser. So yeah, he's going to do laser. <laughs> oh no, we're good, we're good. <sighs> come on, come down now. No, it's laser now. Oh, come off it. God damn it! <laughs> Why? Every time. <laughs> Every time. So, without the lightning shield, that laser attack, there's pretty much nothing I can do. 
Um, so now it's just a case of hoping we get some good RNG, just like that, for him to come down. Because when he's down, now I can get some hits on him. I think Zyzex did find a way to hit the, like for a last hit or so, hit the laser with the Insta Shield. You can, but it's incredibly tight. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Zyzex is an absolute beast of it. Just like game. that. There you go. There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Had to give it a go. <laughs> yeah, that, that boss is such a pain in the backside, and the problem is if you lose your rings, you cannot collect them, which means with a shield and rings, you can only take two hits, and if you die, you start again. Um, it's a real toughie. It's probably one of the hardest bosses in the run total. And how many hours did you spend on it, Huts, in your first playthrough? <laughs> over an hour. Oh, <laughs> it took me over yep. an hour to do that yep. one boss. Yep. It's so And hard. then you it's kept hard. on dying as well in, in the second act, didn't you? So you had to go back. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just time and practice with that one, but there we go. Right. Panic Puppet 2, our final act. A mad dash to the end on this one. We have the nut mechanic coming through from Metropolis. And we're going to be coming up these. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite right there, are. <laughs> No, I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Why did break arg? Uh, a donation did. Oh, God, read it, read so it. So we just, we just had 2.6k. We got two donations coming in. The first one, <laughs> Broken Hyperlink with an $11.52 donation saying, back at it again with my awkward donation amounts. As always, here's my donation to an awesome cause and excited to watch as much of the Sonic block as I can. So Broken Hyperlink, thank you very much. Um... And then we got a donation from somebody. Nice jump. Nailed it. Thank you. Uh, we got a donation from uh, someone we all know. Flick Blastly. Oh, no. <laughs> Flick Blastly donates $4 and says, <clears throat> We're no strangers to run. Oh. You know the cause and so do I. <laughs> Our food donations, what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other stream. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gonna make you donate now. Gonna hit 2.6. Gonna keep going fast. We're gonna show it that. And the donation stops. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna improvise there, huh? I could have, but I didn't realize what I was gonna go with on it. <laughs> oh my word. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> but yeah, I last one came up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Right, final boss time. So yeah, you, you may have seen during uh, that level, there's one particular jump that uh, I pointed out, which was a jump over water. It is a fairly vital jump to get because it skips a considerable part of the level. It's also one of the hardest jumps in the game. You have to jump fire dash to keep your speed up, land on top of a tiny little block, jump straight off it and fire dash again to get over the water. It's a nightmare to do, but if you get it, it pretty much makes the run. Uh, also, because I kept the fire shield, Good job! This second part cannot hurt me. Also means we can get three hits on these buttons. So yeah, just like with 3D Blast, we're going down through the levels. The first part you saw there with the spikes, we have already dealt with. The second part, we have the flames chasing after us. The third part, we are going to be chased by uh, little balls that try to attack us. So here we come into the third and final part. Time will be coming up at the end of this, assuming nothing goes wrong. There we go, three of the four hits on that side. Ah, oh, he got me. Timing is always tricky on that one. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Make sure I grab a ring just for safety. This one's being really awful to me. Will you please stop being awful? Bad arm. <laughs> there we go, got it. Lovely, and... Mm -hmm. As we jump down, ready on the timer, that is time. Not bad, not bad. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Sonic 3D in 2D. A, th a 2D reimagining of Sonic 3D Blast made by Sotanuk. Ah, not a bad run, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, What's your time? I, I assume you had splits open. I did. It was a third, on my side at least with the splits, it's a 3121. Um, I know the timer may have started a bit late on the stream side. Um, being completely honest, we were 20 seconds up going into Panic Puppet 1, and the boss RNG screwed me out of a PB again. 
Ah, as always. For the fourth God, time today. Fourth time. <laughs> You'll get it soon, bud. You'll get it soon. Yeah, it's all good. But um, yeah. So anyway. Firstly, um, a huge thank you uh, to Ben for coming along to commentate. Really appreciate having you here, mate. No worries. Um, uh, ben, you know, he doesn't really stream much anymore, but if you want to go drop him a follow over on twitch.tv slash Ben in Sweden, uh, you never know, he might surprise us one day and return to streaming. <laughs> um, but always a pleasure to have you here, my friend, and, and, you know, it's a genuine honor to be able to call you a friend as well, so thank you. Um, thank you as well, Arg, for, for being a wonderful, gracious host. Always lovely to have you here. Um, and I just want to say a couple of things. Firstly, um, a huge thank you and shout out to the whole FPE staff. Obviously, I am one of the staff here as co-head of tech. Um, but really, a huge shout out and thank you to everyone who's working behind the scenes to put on yet another incredible event. Uh, raising lots of money for a wonderful, wonderful cause. Months of work and preparation have gone into this, especially from Amber, who has done so, so much to ensure this event goes ahead. So a huge shout out and thank you. Can we get some love in the chat for Amber, please, especially? Um... Uh, massive shout out to Sotanuk for making a fantastic game. If you want to play this game, you can download it for free. Just search Google for Sonic 3D and 2D. You'll find it as the first link. It's well worth giving a go and having a play at. The speed run's incredible. The uh, gameplay is tough. It's going to be tough, but you'll enjoy it. Um, and if you enjoyed what you saw here, then feel free to come and drop me a follow over on twitch.tv slash HUD601. It'd be lovely to see you there as well. But for the moment, that's all from me. I'm going to hand it back to Arg. Thank you very much. Well, before we head over to the intermission and get set up for our next game, which will be Sonic 2 Absolute by the one and only Rumen, uh, I'm going to redo that last line because apparently Flick Blastly ran out of characters and I have been given out the, I've been given the full line. So remember the song, but it, it goes... <clears throat> uh, hold on, how do I need to get the thing then? Gonna make you donate now. Gonna hit 2.6. Gonna keep going fast. We're gonna show you that. It gets better. And Woo! there you go. And that's how it's supposed to end there. But now we're going to head over to Intermission here. Thank you, Flick Blastly, for the donation. And everybody else for your donations as well. 2,652 cents right now. Out of that 3,000 goal that we were aiming for. And we've still got more to come. We'll see you all in a couple of minutes. <laughs>